Elizabeth, in this movie, they yes. have stripped back the glamour from your character. Did that, mean, did that mean less time in hair and makeup? It did mean less time in hair and makeup, which was nice. Although I still have more hair, time in hair and makeup than almost anyone else in the cast. <laughs> Despite did. the fact that I'm stripped down. But um, I still have to put a wig cap on, I still have to get that, you know, headscarf right, and I still have to get all the accessories on, and I still have to whiten my skin every day and all of that. Your character is very eccentric and, yes. and provides a lot of the comic relief in what is quite a somber movie. Yes. Did you base uh, your that character on anybody? How, how much of the eccentricities of her is is your input or the director? Um, some of it just came from Suzanne Collins, you know, who really talks about what just imbued Effie with um, a sense of style first first of all, and and a theatricality. You know, she cares a lot about how you dress, what you look like, self-expression, you know, perfection, beauty. Um, I think that, you know, there's, and I think there's a lot of value in those qualities. I believe in those things too. I think beauty has inspired people since, you know, the Greek times. I mean, it's something that really does matter to people. Personal adornment obviously really matters to people. Do you care personally to that level about style or when you're not having kind of some glamorous red carpet event, <laughs> do you prefer to be a bit more of a tomboy and sla um, slouch around in? Yeah, I don't slouch around so much, but um, I'm d I mean, I don't put nearly as much care into any of it as Effie, of course. Um, but Effie has nothing else to do. That's all she does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's a stylist. Most stylists I know are very stylish. I thought there was a Vivian Westwoody uh, look to A little her, bit, her, yeah, her. absolutely, yeah. And some little Betsy Johnson in there too, maybe. And of course, the, I was trying to think about how to describe your voice in that character, and it's quite sort of swishy. Uh-huh. Uh, that's an interesting way <laughs> to think about it. I'm not sure that is actually a word. Was there part of you that thought, oh, I could actually, I could pretend to be her whilst off camera. I could wander around LA with this. I mean, she's a little ridiculous, but in a, in a way that is very lovable, I think. Um, you know, the, the voice also, it, it has everything to do with how she holds her arms and her hands and, you know, yeah. she loves to gesture. Now, the franchise in general, mm -hmm. when you get offered a role like this, is there any part of you that goes, is there any part of you that's apprehensive, that actually t considers turning it down, or are you, were you in straight away? No, I, I really fought to play Effie. I absolutely loved her and knew I could have a lot of fun with her. Is sort of a, is, she's very cheeky and very me, and um, you know she's a, a role that you sort of dream. You know, I, I I come from a theater background, so to be able to create someone so theatrical and sort of over the top was a very fun idea. I've always wondered what that means when you fight for a role. How, how do you even go about finding out Meaning, who the hell's making it? But. Oh, that's not hard. Um, Gary Ross, who directed the movie, directed me in Seabiscuit. I had a personal relationship with him, and um, I loved these books. And so when um, I found out he was directing the movie, I just started emailing saying, I would love to be Effie. <laughs> <laughs> you try and act Let not me be so. Effie. I wasn't like, even cool oh, about what? it. I was just not even cool about it. I was like, dude, hire me. <laughs> Give it to me. That's brilliant. <laughs> And Jennifer Lawrence, you've worked with her a lot now. How have you seen her develop as a person over the last few years and her career that's... I mean, every, it's, you know, it's an amazing parallel to the life of Katniss Everdeen, you know. A um, little bit of a reluctant heroine in her own life, um, but also someone who's finding her voice and her power. And I think that's it's really fascinating to watch a, a young person really become a, a woman, and that's really what Jen's done. And she deals with the pressure very well as well. Yeah, really does.